Vidur College Mathematics Grade 3 Lesson 2 Numbers Part 1 Hello my dear children Let's see what are we going to learn today Today we are going to learn about how to write numbers up to 100 both in words and numerals how to identify two digit numbers according to the place value how to represent two digit numbers in the abacus how to represent two digit numbers using rots and blocks and finally how to write two digit numbers in expanded form writing numbers up to 100 children can you remember in grade 2 you learned how to write numbers up to 100 in words and numerals Shall we do a small exercise to refresh our memory? Are you ready? Then let's go. Exercise 1 This is question number 1. Write the following numbers in words. 23, 46, 68, 82 Question number 2. Write the following numbers in numerals. That means using numbers. 36, 58, 74, 91. Children, are you ready to check your answers? These are the answers for question number 1. These are the answers for question number 2. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! Tens and Units Children, in a two-digit number, there are two place values. They are tens place and units place. Look at this example. In this number, the two place values are written in two different colors. The first number in 26 belongs to the tens place and the second number in 26 belongs to the units place. So, the tens place number is 2. The units place number is 6. Exercise 2. Represent the following numbers according to the place value. An example is done for you. Children, look at the table given below. They have represented number 76 using tens and units. So in 76, there are 7 tens and 6 units. So let's represent the rest of the numbers according to their place value by looking at the example. Children, shall we check the answers? Number 35 has 3 tens and 5 units. Number 89 has 8 tens and 9 units. Number 54 has 5 tens and 4 units. Finally, number 60 has 6 tens and 0 units. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! Do you know what is an abacus? An abacus is a mathematical instrument that we use to represent numbers according to their place value. The abacus we are using to represent two digit numbers has two place values. They are units place and tens place. Children, let's learn how to represent a two digit number in an abacus. Look at the example given. They have represented number 34 in an abacus. As you can see, there are four balls drawn in the units place to represent the four units in 34. And they have drawn three balls in the tens place to represent three tens in 34. 
Exercise 3 Represent the following numbers in an abacus. 42, 60, 53. Shall we check the answers? When you represent 42, you should draw 2 balls in the units place and 4 balls in the tens place. Children, when you represent 60 in an abacus, you should draw 6 balls in the tens place but none in the units place. Because in 60, the units place value is 0. To represent number 53 in an abacus, you should draw 3 balls in the units place and 5 balls in the tens place. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done. Rods and blocks. Children, rods and blocks are used to represent numbers. Blocks represent ones or units. We represent blocks by drawing a square. Rods represent tens. Ten blocks form a rod. Let's represent the following number using rods and blocks. Exercise 4 Represent the following numbers using rods and blocks. 45, 56, 30 Children, are you ready to check your answers? To represent 45, you need 4 rods and 5 blocks. To represent 56, you need 5 rods and 6 blocks. And finally, to represent 30, you need only 3 rods and 0 blocks since the units place value of 30 is 0. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done! Children, let's learn how to expand a two-digit number according to the place value. Look at the example. In 57, there are 5 tens and 7 units. 5 tens equal 50 and 7 units equal 7. Therefore, when you expand number 57, the answer is 50 plus 7. Exercise 5 Write the numbers in expanded form. An example is done for you. Look at the example. They have represented number 23. In 23, there are two tens and three units. So you have to represent the rest of the numbers in tens and units. Write the following numbers in expanded form. An example is done for you. They have represented 34. The answer is 30 plus 4. So you should represent the rest of the numbers in the same way by looking at the example. Children, let's check the answers. Question number 1. 45 equal 4 tenths and 5 units. 78 equal 7 tenths and 8 units. 90 equal 9 tens and 0 units. 
question number 2 when you expand 56 the answer is 50 plus 6 when you expand 82 the answer is 80 plus 2 when you expand 60 the answer is 60 plus 0 did you get all the answers correct well done we have come to the end of our lesson. I hope you learnt a lot. Until we meet again, be safe and be happy. Have a nice day.